Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the battleship's helicopter. The previous curator of the museum passed away before I started. So we never got a chance to work together and pass on all the institutional knowledge that he had after a decade of working here. The prevailing wisdom around the tour guides here was that Battleship New Jersey did not have an embarked helicopter. We had a flight deck, which meant that we could land helicopters, but because we didn't have a hangar, we never embarked one. And we have since found out that that is completely false. The prevailing wisdom also stated that this helicopter was from the New Jersey National Guard, and it was just placed on board the battleship when she opened up as a museum because that was the same time it was removed from guard service. And so the markings on it are representative of its service with the New Jersey National Guard. Well, today I did a little bit of research into that, and uh, it seems to be completely false. And there's a lot more research to be done here. I don't know aircraft nearly so well as I know ships. However, a couple of important things that you can tell just from looking at the aircraft. First off, SH-2F, that is the type of helicopter that this is, a Cayman Sea Sprite, with it, which is an H-2. Uh, H for helicopter, 2 just means it's the, the second helicopter in the modeling series. Uh, the, the H-1 Huey, UH-1 Huey, uh, is pretty famous for its Vietnam Air Service. This is H-2. U means utility, and the first models of the Cayman Sea Sprite were utility helicopters. This means that they would do all sorts of things, uh, transporting people in cargo between ships, uh, plane guard duty and search and rescue. In fact, that's what uh, these sorts of helicopters did a lot of during the Vietnam War. But also they could do some anti-submarine warfare. Primarily, anti-submarine warfare was conducted by ships, but they're limited by the sonars that are mounted on board and the ship's position. If you throw anti-submarine stuff on a helicopter, it can fly a lot further and faster than a ship, and it can even operate with the ship to help triangulate a submarine's position. So, the Navy decided to upgrade the Sea Sprite into an anti-submarine helicopter. So that's S uh, for anti-submarine. H for helicopter, number two, and then F is the model, with the first production series being A, and then every major modification getting another letter after that. Uh, so the F happened to be the anti-submarine model of this. So just this little information here tells us a lot about the airframe itself. The other critical thing in this area is this right here, 150141, which is the serial number of the helicopter. Uh, each helicopter in this series gets its own serial number. There were about 200 of these. I'm not quite sure where the numbers started and ended, uh, but that is what helicopter this is. Except, doing a little bit of research today, I went on the Wikipedia page for the H2, and uh, the Wikipedia page has at the bottom a list of surviving airframes like this, and it lists the helicopter here on New Jersey, and it lists its serial number as 150175, a helicopter that operated out of California with, uh, with helicopter anti-submarine squadron light 31, the Archangels. Wikipedia articles actually cite their sources. So if this is not airframe 150141, why on earth did the museum repaint it this way? Remember I said the airframe is supposed to be uh, 0175 with HSL uh, 31. Look here. HSL 33, so Helicopter Squadron Light 33, and instead of uh, 0175, we got 0141. So that serial number at least matches the one back here that is not the actual airframe serial number. Why is the museum replicating this helicopter? It's because the docent lore was incorrect, and in fact, Battleship New Jersey, on at least two occasions, embarked helicopters. The first one we knew about, in the 1950s, New Jersey's helicopter was named the Jersey Bounce. And Jersey Bounce had it at a very specific serial number, which I can't remember off the top of my head. But in 1983, during our uh, historic long cruise, the one in which we uh, fought in the Lebanese Civil War, 
New Jersey's helicopter was called the Sea Snake. During that deployment, the battleship carried an aviation detachment or an air debt. Ours was Detachment 9 of the Light Anti-Submarine Helicopter Squadron, HSL-33. HSL-33 is called the Sea Snakes. And the helicopter that we embarked was serial number 0141. So that is the airframe that our crew referred to as the Sea Snake. So that is the embarked aircraft that we had during that deployment. We were able to find this through the ship's cruise book. And there's a link in the description below to our various cruise books if you want to flip through those and check them out. Now you'll notice that uh, most of the later 80s cruise books do not list an aviation detachment on board. Now, almost certainly we had some air debt personnel here for uh, launching and recovering aircraft. They just wouldn't have been aircraft assigned to this ship. So instead, um, we are just acting as a refueling point for other helicopters, which is probably where the idea that New Jersey did not have its own embarked aircraft in the 80s and 90s. Uh, the problem is, you ask a former sailor, did we have an embarked aircraft? And they say, no, not when I was on board. Well, they were only on board for a one or two year period. And we're looking at uh, close to a decade of service between 82 and 91, uh, in which things on the ship changed. Uh, so if we were to ask somebody from earlier on, did the ship have an embarked air group and uh, helicopter? They would likely say yes. And they might even be able to uh, remember it was called the Sea Snake. So the first model Sea Sprites were solicited in the late 50s. The Navy was looking for a design competition. Sea Sprite was Cayman's input into that competition, which was selected by the Navy. The first airframes are delivered in the early 60s and they continue to operate with the active Navy until about 1994. Original production models of this helicopter did not meet the Navy's own requirements, nor the requirements of foreign navies that came and tried to sell them to. Uh, so it led to a number of these helicopters being sent back to the factory to be re-engined. In fact, ours has two engines in it instead of the original one uh, that the design originally called for. Because foreign navies did not buy these in large quantities, uh, Cayman really stopped serial production and uh, basically was just upgrading the ones that the Navy said, we have issues with these, make them better, or we want to add these capabilities to them. So you would think with this sort of tortured uh, development process that the thing wouldn't be that long lived. However, it's a relatively small and lightweight helicopter, meaning it was one of the few that could actually operate off of Brooks-class frigates and, and the other smaller flight decks in the Navy at that time. However, in 1994, when these uh, legacy frigates are finally decommissioned, the helicopters go soon after. Some of them go into the reserves, but by 2001, those go away as well. There are a couple of these still in service with foreign countries, though, such as Poland and Egypt. The F model of the Cayman Sea Sprite, like the one that New Jersey carries, had a uh, cruising speed of about 130 knots and a maximum speed around 145 knots. It could stay in the air for about five hours and had a range of a little over 400 nautical miles. And that could be extended if you put drop tanks like these on the hard mounting points external of the aircraft. However, if you were doing any submarine warfare, rather than carrying the drop tanks, you might replace these with either anti-submarine torpedoes or air-to-surface missiles such as the Maverick or the Penguin. In 1994, not only are the ships that these operated decommissioned, the aircraft themselves disposed of, but the squadrons, such as HSL-33, based out of San Diego, are also disbanded. Ultimately, these were replaced by the far more capable but also larger Seahawk uh, type H-60 helicopters, uh, which are still ubiquitous in the military today, with the Special Forces version being known as the Black Hawk, pretty famously, and, and uh, various versions of it used by all of the armed forces. As soon as the ships that were too small to operate those aircraft were decommissioned, the H-60s became completely ubiquitous and older airframes like this one were disposed of. So what's your favorite type of helicopter? Let us know in the comment section down below.
Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the museum and our channel. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us. Thanks for watching.